Now the next little modification that I wanted to show you that you can do with exposed framework has to do with the lock screen shortcuts and how to customize them. So to first give you an idea of what these are, whenever you go to the lock screen, you're going to see a couple of icons at the bottom left and right of your screen. Swiping up from these are shortcuts to certain features, whether it's the camera or the voice activation. Not everyone needs these shortcuts on their lock screen all the time. Sure, the camera is sometimes useful, but a lot of phones have it to where you can double press on the power button to launch the camera. So with the gravity box module using exposed framework, we can actually customize those two icons to launch anything we want, anything we have installed. So just like before, you need to have exposed framework installed, and then you're going to have to have gravity box installed for your specific version of Android. I have videos and tutorials of how to do this on a number of devices on the website and all of this will be linked in the full tutorial which is right below this video. So to start out with this model we're just going to need to launch the Gravity Box application and since this is a modification to the lock screen we're going to tap on the lock screen tweaks option at the very top. Now this option we, that we're going to mess with is all the way at the bottom. We can see we have bottom left action, bottom right action, and they're both set to default. But if we tap on one of these, then we will see a list of all of the applications we have installed on our device. So instead of launching a voice command thing so we wanted to launch Chrome there. Now by default there is no icon so we're going to need to tap on that question mark and then tap on the icon for Chrome or for anything that you would like that shortcut to represent. We could also come in here and on the other side we could launch and say the settings. And again we need to tap on the question mark for that and then we would just scroll through here and choose an icon that we believe would represent the settings. Now it doesn't really have to be for anything like the tasks icon for me. I could see that being a settings or even the gear. So now we have Chrome at the bottom left and then we have our settings at the bottom right. Once that's done, we can go back to the home screen, lock the device, take us to the lock screen and now we have Chrome on that side which when launched is going to open up Chrome and on the right we have that gear which when launched is going to launch our settings. So it's a very convenient feature because again not everyone uses those but there are a number of different things that certain people need quick access to. So I really, really, really like that this feature has been included in Gravity Box. And if you look, you see both of these are bottom left and bottom right actions, but we also have a hide bottom actions option here. And from here we can choose to hide the left action, hide the right action, or hide both. So if we didn't want those there on our home screen at all and we wanted it to be a more of a clean lock screen, then we will just enable both of those 
and now both of those actions have been hidden. So that is how to customize the shortcuts on the lock screen with exposed framework.